매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보며 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 His words kept ringing in your head while you were packing your luggage, ready to leave his house. Howard won't give him a chance. Obviously, you're not heartless to not give him a second chance. Soft, but not a fool. You decided to stay away from him for the first time as he had asked for two months. You would have not given him a second chance if you had not known him before. Yes, even before your marriage with him, you have seen him few times meeting his mom in hospital talking like a baby. Totally opposite of how he behaves with you, like a jerk. Your chain of thought stopped when you stopped packing your bag and Mrs. Wong entered inside your room. She marched forward and engulfed your body in a motherly hug. She tried her best to make you laugh and you giggled at her. But soon you held her hand softly and spoke. She nodded her head sadly. and you hugged her again lie you caught her instantly and chuckled at her you knew that already as jungle realized what he did he kept on insisting you to stop you but you did not budge so he tried this You came to the living room just to see Jungkook biting his nails out of nervousness. You would have admired him a lot only if you were not parting ways right now. But since you were doing so, he looked down at your feet once again and then again at him. You sat with a straight face while Jungkook came to you and hugged, keeping his face between your neck. You held your urge to run your fingers through his hair at the sudden skin sip. You were trying to fall from your eyes, so you pulled away and left the house in hurry, while Jungkook bit his lips, refraining himself from crying anymore. While on the other hand, you reached at your friend's house and made yourself comfortable on her couch, while she went to bring coffee for you. You were looking at her glaring eyes. She is a mom to you. She exclaimed suddenly while you gave her your most innocent puppy face and she shied instantly. You regretted saying that immediately as your body was thrown on the couch and Leo was hugging you tightly while saying something wait screaming something in god knows what language.